First fish. All right, guys, first skipjack of the day. We are catching skipjack below Chickamauga Dam because I need bait bad. It's fish number two on the white foley spoon. My setup's pretty simple. Uh, using 10 pound monofilament line, Carolina rigged with a 20 pound leader down to a white foley spoon and I have a split shot right above the barrel swivel and uh, we're just fishing on this current seam below Chickamauga Dam usually it's this time of the year that they start making their way down here I'm sorry yeah. Sure, man. You don't want them? Nah. You sure? Yeah. I've been there fishing all I ain't doing no good. Yeah, I'll take them, man. Let's put them in the cooler here. I appreciate that, brother. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I do, yes. I think I'm watching them. I'm not sure if it's deep or not. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, Chat Cats Fishing? Yeah. That's me. Yeah. That was it. I'm Joe, by the Chad. way. Nice I was to out meet here you. I'm trying to catch stuff because I'm going. My parents live about 40 miles east of Atlanta. Oh, okay. And we're going to fish called Lake St. Clair. Yep. And I want to take some down there. That's awesome, man. Um, oh, there you go. You still on there? No. Yeah, that's the thing with skipjack. You'll miss more than you actually catch them. I just watched one of your videos yesterday. Did you really? Which one did you watch? Yeah. Usually they're they're usually pretty thick this time of the year, but uh, from what I've heard, they were really thick in February this year. Yeah. Um, no, I hear you, man. It's oh, that's prime bait. That's for sure. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You catfish a lot or? Alrighty. You using a spoon? I got another Foley spoon if you want to try that. That's usually what I... It's usually what I do good on.
Is this right here? That's the one you had last time, I think. Yeah. Here, why don't you just take that? I got plenty of them. Oh, Seriously. It'll do you wonder. Seriously. Good. They're fun to catch. Yeah, they're feisty, man. That's why we give them the nickname Tennessee Tarpon. Hey, thanks for doing that. Yeah, well, I'm down here. Picking up the trash, man. That's awesome. Kind of like shit where you eat. <laughs> we all got to do it though. We all got to be picking up the trash. If you, oh, uh, you got your cooler, you said? Yeah, it's up in the truck. Oh, okay. But yeah, guys, the big thing about fishing for skipjack is to fish on a current seam. You can kind of see the current going this way, and I'm fishing right on this seam where the slow moving water meets with the fast moving water. And typically the skipjack will hang on that seam. Now today it's a little slow. There's not a lot of them in there, but there's a few. I just no no water. Usually I usually I have ice with me, but Oh, there we go. And what helps me is when I hook into one, just keep reeling because they come off so easily. Man, I got him good right in the corner of the mouth. The big thing with skipjack guys is using different colors on your lure. Sometimes they'll hit white, red, green, just depends and just depends on the mood that they're in. Whoa! Did you guys see that? I had I had stopped reeling and this thing just grabbed it. Oh man, how awesome is that? Man, this thing is extremely feisty. Got scales all over me. Skipjack is trophy bait for catfish. Uh, typically, guys, I use skipjack when fishing for catfish. It seems to do really well. Uh, stripers will also eat skipjack, but primarily catfish are the ones that like it the most. And it's literally hit or miss with them. Uh, typically down here in March and April, the skipjack will make a run below Chickamauga Dam and some other dams along the Tennessee River. So usually in the winter months, they can be hard to find, and that's where you'll have to go to a steam plant to get them. So once that water temp reaches like 52, 53 degrees, they usually start running here. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, not a lot of good action with the skipjack, unfortunately, but we did manage 
I don't know. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven skipjack. And a guy gave me two. So we caught five uh, within, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So pretty slow, but really good to have some bait uh, that I'll be using in my future trips. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions on how to catch skipjack or tackle involved when trying to catch them, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up for this video, guys, and we'll see you later.